Hey, that timer kind of crept up on me there. I was like, hey, I got two minutes left. And then suddenly I didn't have any time left. I'm so sorry, folks. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So plan for tonight. We started playing some Metroid recently uh, as like kind of a panic response to I don't know what to do now that I've beaten Dragon Quest live on the air. That, that one took me by surprise, even though like I'd been planning it for... Uh, about a week at that point that like that was going to be the stream that happened and I didn't expect to do so an hour early Even after like doing the calculation on how long it was taking to do stuff I just kind of forgot that it would continue to accelerate as we found things that had a higher experience value So when we got to Metroid, I kind of started a, a little bit of rambling about it, but it's like It's another one of those ones that's near and dear to me and I've been playing it since I was again a little girl uh, I want to say that Metroid is one year older than I am as a franchise. Um, and I started with the original. Like, I actually have my original cartridge with me still. And that's part of why I'm just like, all right, let's 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 do this. 
but they did such an amazing job at bringing back the same feel of going through that journey for the first time while modernizing things with the ways that they've upgraded and updated the series over the years. Um, Super Metroid, the third game in the series for the Super Nintendo, really changed like the expectations of what future um, iterations in the series would end up being. And so from that point, you have like Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission, and uh, later the ones being done by Team Ninja, uh, shoot, what is the Return of Samus? Whatever the remake of Return of Samus was called, because it, in fact, I think it may have just been also self-titled Return of Samus. But uh, even that one, like, borrowed from that, that newer style that they'd set in place in Super Metroid. The first one was basically a proof of concept, getting them to a place where they could start doing a larger overarching story, like what they hinted at in the second one. <clears throat> it's funny because, like, I still remember to this day walking through, of all places, a Target, which, like, my family did not frequent. But I remember walking through a Target as a kid and walking past the advertisement for the original Metroid 2 Return of Samus for the Game Boy. Not Game Boy Color, Game Boy. And being like, oh, wow, there's there's going to be a second game to this. And it was just like a blip on the radar, and then I didn't touch a Game Boy again until the Game Boy Advance. Like, I didn't even see the color. I didn't get into Pokemon like a lot of other folks did. Um, instead, my family stayed on, like, the larger entertainment consoles, like the, the, the 64 and later the PlayStation. But, uh, yeah, it's... I don't know. I'm looking forward to this. I'm also in the process of like getting all my preparation put in place here. I know that as I was trying to set up for this, uh, Metroid was doing everything it could to crash. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if it'll it'll run for me. We might have to reboot it 30 times. I don't know. And for this one, I will be relying entirely on the built-in save system uh, rather than utilizing save states, because as much as like I enjoy the uh, the idea of having a flawless 100% speed run go through of the entire game, I am also capable of doing a single sit-down playthrough of most of the 2D Metroid games, like in a single sitting. Um, I had a friend that at one point I was competitively playing against on the Super Metroid before Metroid Fusion was even a concept <laughs> and trying to come up with the the better way to speedrun in an era before there was YouTube in an era before there was twitch.tv and instead Twitch was on TV which that's an interesting one for me uh Raiden Raiden for well, I think Raiden Trad came out on Genesis. I don't know what the original Raiden was on, but I played it in arcades, uh, Raiden 3. But the first time I ever heard about it was on Twitch, the TV show on G4 Tech TV, before it was G4 Tech TV back when it was just, I think, Tech TV. The future's weird. Anyways, let's uh, <laughs> let's launch our game here and turn off the background music. Is it going to work with me? Is it going to work with me? Maybe?
The flashes of trans colors just makes me so happy. All right. Wait, what? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Got it. Planet Zebus. I called this place home once in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission, Samus Aran. <laughs> well, I have to relearn the controls on keyboard. Double tap to take the ball form. Gain access to narrow passageways. So one of the things you'll note immediately is, as I was complaining about in the uh, first, very first game, there was... I might have to reverse these. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Well, I found a button that does a thing. That's interesting. Okay, input, set, config. Okay. Hopefully that comes back in a second. I don't know. I know it's been misbehaving. Okay, yep, we're back. Wow, that takes a second to render. Oh, that's so much better. You'll note, though, that the layouts in most of these rooms are the same, save for the Chozo statues that they added back in, like, retroactively put into the game. Adding a little bit more story and history to the game without even needing to add text. It's just visions that she's having of something. Her mapping system's giving her some sort of conflicting data. Oh, I don't have the grapple yet. I was about to do something that I wasn't actually able to do yet. So, here's the thing. I went looking. I went looking and looking for the long beam. And I went looking. And you know where I went looking? The wrong place. You know where I was looking? In this game. In my head. In the mapping system in this game. Here's a long beam. And if you weren't, like... <laughs> if you were to wear... Fire long distance shots of this beam, and press L and B to fire diagonally. Now, suddenly I can shoot across the room. In fact, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, there's no way to deactivate a component. In um, some of the games, you can actually turn off some of your beams and mess with the way they behave so that you can mix them uh, in different ways for silly purposes. We'll get into that later. Okay, no further information. We'll continue. So if I had no long beam before, I would not have been able to fire down that little hall.
Hmm. This one goes way off the map. Remember this room? I sure as hell do. This is different though. These are active now. Still no bomb though. Gotta go find it. Now if I wanted to be a jerk, I could go climb that through sheer force of will. Because I have the skill set necessary to do the jumps. But I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> You can kind of brute force your way through a few things in this if you've got the dexterity for it. I will hurt my wrists. And I'm trying to be nice to them tonight. What up this dude? Oh. Huh. Interesting. It is possible to uh, defeat that creature in that first round, but you also can come back and fight it later. Okay, more stuff I can't blow up yet. Let's go back. Did I just kill that? No. I hope it actually saved. That was terrible. No. Oh no, it just died again. What happened? <laughs> Uh-oh. We might have problems. Most recent. Well, how about this way then? Okay, input. Did this save at least? I guess we'll see. Okay, it did save. <clears throat> We'll see if it actually shows up here. Hey, hey, OBS. Do you wanna do you wanna join in on the party here? <laughs> hey, uh, OBS. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I see. That did break. Match title, automatic. Let's try Windows 7 or up and see if that helps. And we'll go full screen. As much as the software will let us. And then we'll go from here. 
Whoa. I've done it. I've upset the machine gods once more. Okay, cool. I didn't need to change anything. It just needed to initially capture, and I don't know why. Why is the software like this? Uh, okay. So theoretically, I just hang out here for a sec, and it'll go poof and reappear. Theoretically. I'm just gonna jump around here in the darkness. Hey, come on! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you're right there. How about now? No. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, we're back. Okay. As much as I hate it, I have to actually click out of the window again to move chat. Shut up. All right, cool. We're back. What a mess. <laughs> Say goodbye to my dream of speed running. Didn't get it. It was very close, though. Okay, there's nothing over that way, so we just continue on this way. Ow. That's what I get for looking at chat. <laughs> we return to game. We try again. We try to beat that thing. I want to see if I can get it in the first try. If not, I'm fine with just getting the missile, but, you know, it'd be cool if I did. Love how just inherently crunchy the audio was for the, the Game Boy Advance. Oh, you can get it in the three shots. That's amazing. Charge beam! Hold B to charge. Release to fire. Charge attack. Jump with the full charge. So iconic. The poor man screw attack. And on a keyboard without anti-ghosting, you're not going to be able to do much more. I guess I should save.
first energy tank. Which these I don't remember how many of them actually existed in the original Metroid. Also, not a thing in Metroid 1. There was no map. <laughs> okay. Brinstar map acquired. I do so love uh, having the modernized map in this version of the game, though. It's so good. It works. They made it work. Got the bomb. We get the bomb, we get the bomb. You know, we have the ability to summon our own ball. 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 That is five times the number of missiles that we just had. No! Also, I don't actually know if that's where I'm supposed to go. Dang it. <sighs> are you gonna brute force it, or are we just gonna let this one die? I could also... Nope, nope, nope. We're going... We're not doing tool assist. We're not doing tool assist today. But, but. I don't know. Well, that wouldn't have worked out anyways. We're going to continue on the way. It was worth it. It was worth trying. I also super love the extra cartoony backgrounds that they did for this version. That is elevator. Not quite. What is here? Also, what's up? Yeah, what? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Curious. I don't know why there's a Bessians there. Ah, oh, it's these guys! Where are we going next? Down to Norfair. Up there, huh? Okay. 
If you say so. Down to Norfair. Oh, I thought we had 25, not 20. going off. Okay, that gives me a better idea of how long I have in between as well. bother going after the various suit already. I think I could. I think I can. It is going to require bomb jumping, and it's going to require getting into a place I'm not supposed to go to yet, but it can be done. Got this one little Zvezian chilling out on top of me. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to get in there without... Okay, well, that answered that question. Moving on! Remember this room? Again, I, I sure as hell do, because I just went through here in a different game, looking for a thing that was in this one. Hmm. That's why there's a save point right here. That makes sense. That makes sense. They knew players would try this. I don't think I can do this. My my hand is not working with me on this one. As soon as I say that I get it up there. All right. Let's see if I can do this then. Nope. Nope, I can't do the rapid fire thing with my wrist tonight. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something else. <laughs> something else less damaging to my hands. As much as I would love to be able to show off tonight, not gonna happen. Oh. Got this little room too. I'll have to just come back with these. It's one of those things where you're meant to just go through there with the uh, the high jump and the... Um... Wait, I don't get the, the recharge if I don't save? That's funny. You're supposed to go through with the high jump and the grapple fist. Oh, no, you don't get a recharge. You just save and waste a bunch of your time. Okay.
Aha, secrets. This is another one of those secrets that I really don't want to do later. Because that's uh, a way to skip past trying to get the nuke. The super missile. But it is not easy. At all. It involves some of the most absurd pixel-perfect jumping in any of the Metroid games. <laughs> Including um, the most recent one, Dread. Yeah? You see me? Maybe I see you. <laughs> oh, I love the music in this so much. It's so good. Oh no. <laughs> Bad decisions. For like one screen tall transits, I can do those. It's the ones where you have to go diagonally one screen over and one screen up, or like three screens up and one screen over. Those are the ones that I'm having trouble with. Welcome back to Criteria. Not supposed to go through that quite that easily, but <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Ancient Chozo technology. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. I was a little confused there for a sec. It is time for our test. <laughs> Grab and hang from ledges and corners. Ba -ba -bum. Not a thing in the original series. I'm definitely feeling like I'm suffering without a full height keyboard. I'm really missing my old keyboard right now.
Time to go back to our ship. <laughs> What else can I get to from over here? I think it's just an orange door that I can't open yet because wrecked ghost ship, which is theoretically the space pirate ship. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that before. Orange door? Orange door. Okay. Confirmed. Requires power bomb. <sighs> I want you folks to remember that. Requires the power bomb. An important piece of lore. I should probably also go... <sighs> Over this way. Mm-hmm. Another orange door. Okay. And that is why we needed it. To be able to navigate areas that they've created that make you do these little overhangs. I am remembering Super Metroid's Norfair, which is much deeper before the explosions. that silly little bounce animation. It's not used anywhere else in the game. This is where I can have a tendency to get a little lost. I have only played this one uh, maybe like five or six times versus the literal dozens I've played of Super Metroid. Uh,
This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Weapons and energy fully restored. Gotta find another ancient statue somewhere around here. Well, that didn't work. That really didn't work. Holy cow. <laughs> well, now you're extra in my way. Hello, ancient statue. <laughs> Made. Already time to go fight Kraid. Various suit. Also, sorry folks if I'm giving spoilers and this is your first time encountering the Metroid series. I am uh, very much a longtime fan of the series and uh, <laughs> I've obviously been playing it for a while with the way that I'm, I'm approaching it. Kind of little, little cavalier. Oh, I missed that one. Oh well. Oh, not yet. No varia. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just go down and out that way. Well, I can... yeah. Welcome new viewers. Hope you folks are having a lovely evening. We're doing a not quite speed run, not quite not speed run of this because I love the Metroid series and I love the way that movement feels in it. I like to zoom. But I'm also stopping to mess around with doing bomb jumps and stuff, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you're familiar, if you know, you know. One of those kinds of situations. Uh, let's see. Bop. Movement feels good. I think that's like what I really enjoy about the later iterations in the series is that they, they figured out what felt good about movement in Super Metroid and then continued to refine that. It feels really good in Metroid Dread. Unfortunately, the story in it is so much shorter. Hmm. Where do I want to go? I know it said Crade, but there's other places that I can go now. Hmm. We have the grip, but we don't have the high jump yet, but we can freeze enemies. If I could convince the alligator to go up top, I could grab things. We're just going to do the actual expected way of getting it through here, so... <laughs> I don't need to abuse the game any more than I already have been. Uh, except this one. Oh, hey. That was enough Zabezians to actually hurt.
and then you need the speed boost to get that one, which requires, again, that strange pixel perfect jump. Okay, heading on this way. Hello. And you. Um, are you just going to stay there? Alright. Second energy tank. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. No, I guess not. Ah! Allow me to pour my drink on myself. Okay, save stations over here. And it just says, go, go buck wild. You got it. It says, here's Craig's lair. Start tearing it up. Your damage is irrelevant. I am a walking artillery field. The Meridians are so cute. Ah, what are you? One way? Yep, one way. Okay. But you aren't. Power! First evidence of there being a charge move. <laughs> what an interesting way for that to break. I remember the first time you encountered that, and you're expected to be like, oh, I use these jumps to go here. But then you learn about wall jumping, and it's just like, I can go wherever I want. <laughs> Walls and rules be damned. I'm going where I want to. <laughs> Shake everything up. Power everything. Next energy tank. Oh, I've never heard the flies before. Their wave is so quiet. Time for a boss fight. I'm in the lava. Not that it really matters much. Bye.
Not doing very well at this today. I guess my health's doing better than this thing, but... Items. Allow me in. Let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Ah. Okay. Uh huh. I guess that I've landed upon, like, the acceptable damage tolerance in normal mode on this. Like, the amount that you can expect to take by just kind of running through a room, and the amount that you can expect to recover on the way through to the next room. And so it gives me more of a, like, I'm just going to push my way through a lot of these enemies. Oh no. Okay. That was a very bad decision on my part. how to get there. Yeah, I have no idea how to get to that secret, actually. Interesting.
Three power ups. We've already found a majority of the, the loot that can be found here. Also, why is there a Galactic Federation map module just hanging out on the planet? Z oh, never mind, because there were already other... <laughs> right, this isn't just a pirate outpost. This is also an entire colony lived here. Now, why Kray took up a uh, residence in ancient Choso ruins, unknown to me. Okay, and this one is one of these. Ah. That's an interesting challenge. Hmm. I believe this is a same room. Oh no. Something I cannot get into. Got it. And okay. That's a one way. So I have to take the route over here. Right, I forgot about you. Unknown item. Are you sure? Miscellaneous. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Thank you for the recharge anyways. 90 missiles. We already have like an entire missile salvo in our pocket at all times. This is silly. Something came to the background there. Interesting. Alright. 
Oh, right, these ones explode. I hate that about them. First one of these. All right, Prade. Here to evict you. Bye, Craid. Sorry, Craid. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. I know. I know. Oh, wow. That, that's pretty rough, bud. Wow. I don't think I've ever killed Craid that bad. Run until speed boost begins to break. Certain blocks and damage enemies. <laughs> oh, wow. Time for zooms. My favorite power up in the game. If you could have any power up. Any. Wouldn't it just be this? Wait, what's this? Really? Interesting. Alright. Ah, right. There's definitely something I'm missing there. That was interesting. Am I capable of pulling that off with multiple jumps? Will the game let me? Because with each additional, like, iteration of the game, they've also made the movement just a little bit smoother. And flow a little bit better. Come on, get higher. Loosen your lips. Faith and desire to swing your hips. Okay, there's nothing else here for me. There is up there, but... Okay. Alternatively, we go over this way. Oh. Where is it that I'm supposed to use that? Because I know that I'm able to... As a secret in this area on purpose. That's They wouldn't give you that speed boost otherwise. Ah ha 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 ha! Okay. Nyom. Ah! I see. Really? Uh, 
Um, okay. Wait, what? How do I... Oh, it's just right here. Okay. Oh, no! Nothing else on that side, nothing else up there. We save and we continue. Aha! With the destruction of Kraid, the Mother Brain sends out a message to her other general. The Space Dragon, Ridley. Once known as Little Bird. Actually, I have no idea if that's canon anymore. I think it is, because, like, they've... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, a hole. A hole I must explore. Back down Snorfair. Into darkness. Thank you. Delicious snacks and explosives. And thus begins this game is terrible game of uh let's assign the player something impossible for a movement puzzle and by puzzle we mean beat yourself into the wall repeatedly until you get it right or suffer so you can do criteria Having realizations. All right, folks. Thus begins the extreme movement puzzle issues.
Yeah, that's the problem. I don't even know if it can be done. Like, yeah, I, I know it can be done. I've done it. No! Well, uh, yeah. I think I need the jump ball as well to be able to officially do it with the game's in-game movement. Let me try... Let me try seeing if I can do diagonal movement as a ball. No. It won't let me jump as a ball. So that answers that question. I'm not going to be able to do that just yet. Alternatively, I can try and do the bomb jump and wall ledge grab and ice beam for various suit. But let's just go do the correct order of this. Like, yes, it is feasible to sequence break this, but, you know, it only takes three hours to beat this game at max. Like, you can take longer than that if you're really messing around. So even without me rushing, like, that's still going to be easily within the realm of possibility. That's just how the Metroid games are written. Um, sinking. Mm, ribs. Ribs go crunch. How do I get down there? What did I just get? Running. I got running ability. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Ah, oh, I was gonna try and... That requires a super missile, so I can't do it yet. And there's a thing up there. Oh, gotcha. I gotta do it again. Cute. jump like it really wouldn't have saved me any time to sit there and mess with doing the the jump ball boost thing when the high jumps right there I don't think that adds the uh let's see oh 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 did I I broke it okay so now we have ball jump now that we have ball jump, that means I can go do the thing that I was just attempting to do. Whoa. I'm so high. Hello, it's you. You're here. I jump on your head. <laughs> hello, hello new viewer. Hello whoever you are. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Okay. New mission parameters. Ooh, we got a jumpy thing. I like the jumpy thing. I can also missile my way through these. Let's do that. Hey Busta, how's it going?
We're playing Metroid Zero Mission. Technically, the uh, first title in the series, but also the fifth title in the series. All good. Hell yeah. Time to save. And we're doing all this without tool assistance today. No turbo fire, no uh, save state using all just built-in stuff in the game. The only difference being I'm running this on a keyboard instead of a controller because that's what I grew up with. Hmm. You telling me to go where? Ah, the exact place I've been trying to go. Got it. Ah, oh, no. So close, though. Well, we do it again. And we're going to keep doing it until we get it. I really wish I could get that a little bit faster because my button presses are a little slow today. Uh, it's even worse. I didn't even get a direction that time. I'm kind of curious. No! Try it this way. That's how you're expected to do it. I've been doing this wrong the entire time. No! Ah, you expected to do it again as soon as you make it into this room. Okay. We do it again. But we're very close now. We have a better idea and methodology for this, so let's do this. Oh, alright. Here we go again. <laughs> what sucks is, this is actually, like, a thing you're expected to do. No! Uh. I'm... There's a big part of me that's like, I got a save state. I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I was off! It's so close! <gasps> no! Oh! I almost had it! Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to do it again in that room? Is that what it is? And if so, where? Where am I supposed to exactly? Because that's the part that's confusing me. Okay, drop. No! <laughs> this is gonna kill me! My time! My time! I was doing so well! Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> 
Okay, we go through here. We stop here. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm learning mechanics, though. Things that, like, I've been trying to figure out for a while in this game and haven't been fully sure of. And so the fact that you can carry the, uh, the Shine Spark this far is very interesting to me. No! I'm unsure of, like, where the correct spot to do that again is. Because I have to stop... I have to stop... while boosting... down to hold the boost again, and then forward to jump again. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. You can still see me mispressing a lot in the process of trying to get it even set up. Ugh. I want that new! And I know it's possible to get it, like, other ways, but this is one way, like, surefire to get it early on. Maybe if I go further. No- <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Puppy has opinion. Why would you program this? Why, why would you design this as, as a movement puzzle? It was evil. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, I'm dying here. I also kind of need to pee. Why does it die right there? Okay, that is the room where I'm supposed to do it, though. Because the Shine Spark has a limited screen distance, it turns out. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, down. No! Okay. If I wasn't underneath that, I would have been fine. But I got it. I've got the, the button press in the right order now. Oh, okay. Okay. This is doable. It's just very difficult. There it is. That's the one. That's the one. We got it. We got it. <laughs> okay. Super missiles. Arm with select. Fire with R and B. Opens green hatches. We just unlocked a part of the game we're not supposed to have access to yet. A big part of the game. Wow, these uh, high jumps are kind of messing with me. I'm not used to being able to go up that high now. Uh, we need to go to here. Like, every time we go into this little vertical area uh we are so much more powerful like terrifyingly so There it is. I was like, I know this exists. I just can't remember where. Oh, it's a one-way? Alright. I guess. If you insist.
And that takes me over to here where there's a missile pack. Got it. Okay. You go back up. It takes me to nothing. But this, this does, this takes me to good things. Very good things. As in the first armor upgrade in the game. And a couple of fun little puzzles based on the new armor. Hello, you're new. I love the way the game introduces you to the Zebesians. Ah, you. They definitely uh, program that different, really, differently than expected. But yeah, this is the way that they introduce you to what the Zebesians can do if uh, they're not eating you. And this is why I'm so friendly to them and don't like killing them. I think they're neat. Unfortunately, they like to eat me. Uh oh. Hey there, Hunter. How's it going? I'm unleashing Zebesians. They're eating things. Hope you're having a lovely evening. We just got the various suit. So I'm having a really good evening. <laughs> Decreases damage taken from enemies, prevents damage from acid and heat. Wow. Hey there, Nine Gosling. How's it going? Just finished dinner, now you're just chilling. Alright. Now I can freely wander around in the acid pits. Uh -huh. Full of beef stroganoff and rolling around like a plump little boy. Aww. Vezzy Meloni. Vezzy Meloni Kanya. <laughs> We've almost got all the energy tanks already. Alright. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? There's so many things I can do. I should go down to Norfair and just start breaking things there. I now have the green... What was blocking me from access to the green before? I gotta think. Wait a sec. Oh, hey, I should save. That'd be a good idea. Also, it looks like we're about to hit an ad break here, so I'm going to take that chance to take a short break and uh, go use the restroom, because it's been a minute. <laughs> uh, I will see you folks in just a moment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And... Put this here, and put this here, and yep. Yeah. We'll be right back. See you folks in just a moment.
I'm a... Oh, I should have refilled my water. You know what? I will grab a ginger ale. <sighs> I could use that for my stomach anyways. And while we're at it, we'll also roll this thing. Because I haven't taken a break this whole time. I've just been running, 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 running. I love Metroid. It is, like, such a good series. And it's such a fun, like, movement system. Um, obviously inspired the, the whole genre of Metroidvanias with the assistance of Castlevania. Also, let this be a reminder for everybody that uh, has their daily meds. Go take your meds. And hello, new viewers. Good to see you, folks. We are on a short break here while I take care of some of the things in my biology. I've been running non-stop since we started. Uh, I hate it when I do this thing and I've got like five very mostly smoked joints and the rest are like... There's like enough to take one hit off of each. I don't want that. <laughs> It's only just now that I'm reminded of the fact that I also have a dab pen, which would probably lend itself a little bit better to this style of gameplay, since I'm able to just take a quick sip and then continue without having to deal with a lighter, or putting the thing down in a safe manner. I do really appreciate uh, any kind of vape that is small enough that you can put a lanyard on it. <laughs> lanyard on it. On it. punched and we'll switch over all of our video channels and continue our little adventure. Samus's first mission, her zero mission on planet Zebeth. Still alive. Put this back, put this back, put this back. Put... Oops. I did that out of order. My bad. Ah. Okay. I think. Yep. We're back. Cool. Uh, and there. Now, where was I going? I'm over here right now. Let's check this area that I guess I never went to. Oh, right. I can go down here now. It's kind of important. Wait, what's select? Okay, so nukes can't even hit those. I, I really do have to bring the Zebesians down here. That's funny. <laughs> All right, everybody, come on, let's go over here. Hey there. Thanks for the pick me up. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. Scanning. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening here? There's something else going on. Hmm. Interesting. I do not know what that's all about. Why there's Zebezians that drop out of the ceiling there. Also, cheers. Wait a sec. There was a green door in Norfair. Okay. Yellow door in Criteria. Yeah, okay. We, we, yeah. I'm like scanning for secrets, but there aren't any here. I just need to continue the story as it's telling me to. No. Why am I doing that repeatedly? Please stop. Thank you. Ah, uh, gotcha.
Super missiles are very handy. Okay, that's not artificial. Uh, the worst. The worst. Oh, wow. We're having some luck right now. Rocket Lobster. I do so love them. And I try to point them out in every game. Mm. 
Hmm. You're an interesting challenge, I must say. Oh, how am I expected to get to you? I see. Interesting. No, I even set that up so well. Let's try that again, just one more time. I should have known. Oh well, it was worth a try. And a fun one at that. Okay, that takes us to here. Rocket Lobster! Ow. Oh. Nope. That place is unfriendly. Ow. Danger. We've begun to hit a, a point of unacceptable loss. A lot of armored targets around here. A lot that I can't just do the poor man's, uh, <laughs> the poor bounty hunter's screw attack. Is there nothing in this room? Ah, I see. We'll come back. Right, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hello. Things getting spooky. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I'd be able to pull that off, but I guess not. In the meantime, decent spot to regenerate. Okay.
So has anybody in chat actually played any Metroid games before? Ah, that was the thing stopping me in the other room. I was like, I would need a wave beam for this. But I don't think the wave beam's anytime soon. Never mind. This beam, which is made of energy waves, can pass through solid objects. Amazing! Alright, cool. That, that resolves the issue I was just having. Also, it makes for a really fancy looking attack. So now our attack is three three blocks wide, and it looks super cool. And that's all the energy tanks. No, I see. Ah, Space Dragon Bastard is back. You finally made it. Just so I can kick your butt too. I still can't believe I took out Crate in like less than 10 seconds. That was amazing. Straight out of the comics.
Also, I just realized that that energy tank that they showed us that doesn't actually exist. Oh, jeez. Never mind. It does. I'm a fool. Oh, uh, such a cool pose. I love the way that they managed to integrate some of the newer art into this sprite as well. Like, actually adding the uh, Metroid Prime booster rockets to her shoulders. Which then, like, became a thing in Smash Brothers, so it's like they were, they were fully accepted by then. Alright. Dun 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 Like, I never really slowed down in that room. I kept slamming into the ground, but... The enemies didn't exactly stop me there. What's over here? Hmm. Okay. This one says there's a thing. I knew it.
Unknown item. Ah, oh, pop my elbow. Thankfully. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Reload. Hell yeah. All right, Ridley, let's do this. Wow. The second I stopped trying to dodge and just started becoming an artillery turret, it wasn't a problem anymore. Why bother being a bounty hunter? Just gun them down, I guess. I'm gonna get a refill. I realized I can go to the statue and get a refill. Refill me, statue. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, bird. Let's go. Dun 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 We got to listen to that theme song for such a short period of time. I messed up. I put that bug too high in the air. There we go. Dun 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 We left that room with more health and ammo than we went in there with. It's amazing. Looking up a lot of these. Pretty nice. Wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? <laughs> Puppy, stop. <laughs> Large fly! Large fly! Yeah! Aw! Oh. Large fly! Large fly! Large fly! Jack Russell Terrier! Go! of the roof above this area. Huh? You know what? I don't care that much. We're just going to continue on. Normally I'd be like a lot more interested in knowing what the heck just happened there.
you're still doing that. Okay. Gives me completely separate questions now. Hold on a sec. If I can do that. What is this? Okay, that... Is it that simple? Is it just... No, because we fall off the edge here. Wait, it is. Okay. This game taught me a different mechanic that I'm not used to. Uh, the ability to conserve the power of the Shine Spark while running and walking through a door. Oh, okay. Okay, so that tells me that it is there. It is the step just past. This is so silly. No! I got a diagonal. I give up. I'm out. I'm done. I don't even need the health. I don't. I'm good enough at the game. I don't need that many energy ting. Crunch. Oh no. giant went out, but I suppose that's okay. I should also have some of my soda. Um, let's see here. What do we pick up? We got a useless item. 
Um, I don't even remember. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Mm, Turian. Hundred and fifty missiles, six super missiles, ice beam, wave beam, various suit. Yeah, that sounds like the end of Metroid. Wait, really? Okay. Oh, I see. What? I see. Uh, not worth the traversal, no extra items. Ow. Right. Uh. Wait, what? What is this thing here? Where? Oh, it's up. Okay. No. Well, I guess I can get to it from there. Grab a refill while we're at it. Oh, I just popped so many ribs. Ow, 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 dog noises. To the roof. That's all I can down. We don't have to go around. I guess I'll do it. I'll go around.
Right. Everybody ready to see some actual Metroid? Metroid's, uh... Sorry. Is everybody ready to see some actual Metroid larva? Don't investigate that statement any further if you've not played Metroid Dread. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh no, I dropped my thing. A thing. Wait. I haven't played Metro. No, Metroid. This is Metroid. Their faces! Their faces make a flashlight! Oh, it's this. It's the eponymous Metroid, the space jellyfish of energy draining origins. They're actually a Chozo bioweapon, but the game doesn't really tell you that until, like, way later. And yes, this thing was put here for this exact purpose.
<sighs> Give my wrist a break for just half a second here. Ad starts in four minutes. We are going to snooze that because we're about to go fight the mother brain. Yep. Wow, I'm getting kind of torn up here. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Substruct mechanism activated. We're gonna snooze the ad one more time. Let's do this. I don't remember the exact route. It's been a minute. I haven't played this game in a couple of years, so bear with me as I get lost and injured along the way. Oh no. All right. Wall climb it is. Woo! Get out of here.
Catapult Station went up. Can finally relax. Maybe not. The timing of my escape couldn't have been worse. I was attacked by space pirates and left nearly defenseless, stripped of my power suit. All I had for protection was my rather useless emergency pistol. Infiltrating the space pirate mothership so armed may have been foolish, but I had no choice. Could I survive long enough to escape? An auto-charging pistol. Stun enemies with charged shots. Chozodia. And now we get to play Metal Gear, but with Samus. Large map. Nice. <laughs> the space pirates have like an interesting locust like aesthetic to them if you've ever seen um what is it like sector 9 district 9 district 9 uh that's what they remind me of also good to see you Fabrizia hope your night's going good yeah, <laughs> they they had a certain aesthetic to them too. <laughs> there there is some uh, some monster fucker solidarity going on. <laughs> I'm Oh. 
Really good movie though, jokes aside. Yeah, I wish there was more to it. I wish that there had been a, a part two. I I don't remember who it was that I'd watched uh a breakdown of like the VFX. I think it was actually with Milky Taro. Uh but how like all the visual effects were practical effects for the most part, uh up to the CGI for the creatures where like they tried to make everything about the creatures as normal as possible instead of making them stand out the way that you would with other like big budget films and it's part of what like gave it its charm i'm still waiting for when you decide to do uh, a dune watch together Oh no! Oh no! Almost. I almost had it. No? Oh? <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Busta. I super appreciate the support. Also, Fabrizia, enjoy the emote. <laughs> wow, that guy is chasing me. I'm meaning to reread it prior to the release of part two. <laughs> okay. found out the hard way far too many times that um, if you let your your feet dangle that'll set off the alarm okay oh no lurking from time enjoying the vibes glad you appreciate it oh 
Ah, the power bomb's gone. Ooh. Taking it somewhere. Not that I can use it without the rest of my armor. Oh. Uh, oh, got concerned for a sec. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. How did you see me? No, you're frozen. I run past you. I am much more agile than you. Zap. <laughs> that one guy at the top trying to catch up. to leave the map and come back. Oh no. I need to get to a save point and heal because I am dying. I have less than one hit worth of health left on me. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, cute. The icon changed, so it's her face now, and she blinks. That's really cute. I never noticed that before. Okay, so we didn't even get the map yet. We saw the power bomb. There's that guy. Your foot counts, but your pistol doesn't. And I guess your ponytail doesn't either. That's interesting. Interesting.
Hmm. Bye. Okay. Hell. Yeah. Checkpoint. Checkpoint good. <laughs> Actual Posodia. Not affected by... The pirates. Complete. With images of war. And worship. Interesting. Eggs. We provide eggs. It's little Sammy! Images of death, birth, and cycle. Yeah. And now a battle with oneself. Pipe organ is an interesting touch because they don't really use that a whole lot throughout any of the music in the series. It, definitely more uh, Castlevania than Metroidvania. Or Metroid. <laughs> Metroidvania. The word has become just part of it all. Oh. I miss because it wiggles. I win. Witness thy true self. Bird form. Activate. Plasma beam. This powerful beam can blast through multiple enemies. Gravity Suit reduces damage from foes further, enables free movement in water, and stops lava damage. Somersault continually in the air. Use A mid somersault to jump again. Got your fully powered suit. <laughs> Now, after having to run from all those space pirates. I am here to tear shit up.
right. Wait, uh, that one. Hello! Now I can go zoomies in the water. Oh, wait. I can go zoomies in the water and collect a super missile. <laughs> okay. What else we got? I don't have the screw attack yet. Aha. Sarah. Let's see. Let's see what's over there. Aha. Uh -huh. A missile. Very nice. Oh. Back down here. Okay. Another super missile. Very nice. Let's see. Let's take this back around and out of here, which I guess is kind of the idea at this point, until I can get the screw attack. Just kill everything until they open the doors. <laughs> now they're hiding in the shadows.
Oh. Hmm. That one's unpowered. Is there a way for me to... Ah, there we go. It's unpowered during the alert. It's funny because this is like a point where you can choose to very quickly end the game. Or uh, continue like searching for everything and filling out the rest of the maps and the inventories and all that. Aha. Uh -huh. That takes me into here. Wow, you're actually substantially outfitted with armor and all that. This little robot here is one of my favorite characters in the game. This little walkie bot. And apparently there's a there's a whole game that you can play where you get to be the walkie bot, which makes me really happy too. But they just kind of exist. Ancient technology. Ah, I can't get in there without the nuke. Well, the super bomb. Okay. Give me a ship. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Fine, I'll get into your control systems. I'll unlock the door. We did it! We did it! 
We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Ah, uh, yes. Set with R and B in morph ball form. Opens yellow hatches. The big bomb. I think we're going to do two things here. We're going to go for the direct ending right now. And we'll see what we can find uh, with maybe some additional play after the fact by reloading that save we just made. We'll see. Because, yeah, the second you get the, the super bomb, you don't have to do anything else in the game. That's the end. That's That's the big one. Uh, everything else is go collect more super bombs if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, buddy. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you coming. Broke you, so you left this behind. Yep. Bye. Also, I suppose it does place me at a very strange advantage. Uh, yeah, okay. Knowing generally where the pirates are going to be. Come on. Yeah. 
Thank you. And let's go. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Cheers. Mission complete. I know I didn't make it under the three hour mark. We'll see how close I got though. drawing of her an old bird and old bird's husband that's so sweet oh yeah i got the uh more than three hour ending oops i got the better luck next time ending oh two hours and seven minutes i guess i need to break it in uh one and a half also, only 64% collection rate. Dang. I wonder what an any percent on this for me would be. Because this was pretty close to me just like doing stream of consciousness, not really trying, running through the game. This is pretty fun though. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's shift gears just a little bit here i need to use a restroom regardless of what i'm doing next i need to use a restroom so we'll be right back <laughs>
I've been coming out of the garage a little too fast and it's been scaring my spider and I feel bad because it's like scrunching up when I walk by. I think I've just been opening the door so hard it's shaking the web. I feel bad because I ran into the web earlier today while it was asleep and I had to go back and remake the whole thing. Uh, usually it doesn't have to expend quite as much energy on the anchor lines if uh, it's just doing a touch-up versus having to rebuild everything from scratch every day. I'm noticing that. Let's see. Now here's a question. Should I uh, start up the next game? Should I just go directly to Metroid 2? I don't own a copy of the Teen Ninja version, but I do happen to have a copy of AM2R. <laughs> okay, it looks like I have also already got it set up to uh, populate here into OBS once I launch it. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Flop. Flop. See you next mission, it says. What did we unlock? Gallery has been added to the option screen. Original Metroid has been added to the option screen. That's fun. That's so cute. Okay. Well, that's enough of that one. Let's move on to this one. And also update our uh, category. to hit done. There we go. Very Metroid Prime inspired soundtrack, which I actually really appreciate. Aim diagonally using two separate buttons. Press up or down while aiming to choose a direction. Yeah, space noises. Missile select style toggle. Hold. Toggle is better. Oh, that's cute! I can play with the- Oh, I kind of want to. Like, this game is beautiful. It's it's in beautiful full color by the... Oh, that's so good if you're playing on the Virtual Boy. And then the original classic green. 
Okay. Have a good one, Nyan Gosling. Thank you so much for dropping in. It was awesome having you. I hope you have a lovely rest. Um, this game is in like beautiful full color, so I'm not going to like hamstring it since it's probably a lot of people's first time seeing it. But at some point, I'm gonna have to go through and replay this one in in one of the. Uh, other color palettes like specifically doing it in either the olive or green like making it play in the style of the original uh metroid 2 for the game boy <laughs> furry run <laughs> Metroids. Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms. Spread fear across all known planetary systems. Hey there, Glitzy Chan. Good to meet you. Welcome in. We are just starting a new run on AM2R. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid Menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? Oh, that custom art is so good, though. Like, the Game Boy could never have done this. Wait, I start with missiles? Okay. No bombs yet. And no jump. Okay. This one almost has a feeling to me as though I'm playing Jazz Jackrabbit. So, on our radar, it shows 0-1 Metroid. Thank you, Glitzy! Super appreciate the support. <laughs> I've played this one once before, um, but it's the first time doing so on stream, and it's been quite a few years since I've played this one, but I've been really craving playing a good Metroid platformer in a while, and why go play something else when there's so many other... Like, there's literally five Metroid games for me to choose from now. <laughs> Why wouldn't I?
The fact that everything explodes the way it does in this just cracks me up. Also, my hot pocket appears to have not cooked all the way through again. I wish that would stop happening, because it's really gross. Oh my god, I've been trying to figure out Americans call what pizza pizza pops, hot pockets, stromboli. If that helps. Pizza pops. I like that term. Kinda wish that's what Americans called it. <laughs> Because, like, we have uh, Pizza Bites, which are the little bite-sized ones, and then we have Hot Pockets, which are the, like, stromboli size, basically a sandwich in your hand. Metroids detected in the area. Pizza Pops. Everyone always thought you meant the little ones. That makes sense, because, like, in, um, in America, a lot of things are marketed as, like, poppable, i.e. small enough to fit in your mouth. Ah! Missile tongue.
This is the... Oh! This is the creator that made the game where you get to play as the walkie bot. The food, difference in food and advertising interesting between such close trade partners. You know, that that is interesting to me. Like, the discussion recently about salt and vinegar chips being pink. It's owned by many of the same Metacorps who would, in theory, want standardization, but for some reason that isn't the case. Agreed. Um, it is very strange to me that, like, Frito-Lay, of all companies, they, they would be the one that I would expect to not do that. Oh, no. Why bomb jump when you can spider ball? Of course, you have to be a bit more uh, careful with it than I have been. Woo! Hello. you explode over the spike pit. Why wouldn't you? Okay, that's one. Block order puzzle. down here though.
never really seen much of Metroid before. This art style really speaks to you. Uh, you'll note that a lot of... Oh, hey there, Dan. Welcome home. Uh, you'll note that a lot of, like, the stuff that I end up designing, oddly enough, in, like, Minecraft is inspired by Chozo architecture, which is inspired by Mayan architecture. Tell me to go here. Ow! What am I missing here? Hmm. This isn't even the room. So it must be just the general area then. Ah, I see a thing. Charge beam. Very nice. You'll note also that for the majority of the last game, I really didn't use the charge beam much. The Terraria style space game is starbound with a species whose architecture seems a bit inspired by this. Uh. The the eagle people. I'm trying to remember what species they're called, but yes, uh, I would agree that they're the in-game style that they were going for, and that a lot of characters ended up not characters, a lot of players ended up going for was uh, definitely Chozo inspired. Give me just a moment to turn this down. I can barely hear myself think. There we go. They were just called the avians. Yeah, uh. Yeah, and the Florins were just called the Florins. I remember that now. Also, um. For a, like, drastic departure in artistic style, and yet not at all, I would recommend checking out, um. Metroid Prime. Oh, that was. I forgot that's a thing I can do. Okay, can't open that yet. played Metroid Prime. Okay. the only entrances into this place, but we now have the Spider Ball, which lets us explore various caverns around the surrounding area. Also, should probably be checking the bridge for weak points. That's it for that, though. Okay.
Ah, I haven't saved in a minute. That'd be a good idea. I'm super looking forward to Metroid Prime 4 and a theoretical future where Metroid Prime VR is a thing, but I doubt it. It is truly a dream of mine, though, to be able to actually, like, play not even the way that they... They, like, did the best they could with the resources they had by making uh, Metroid Prime 3 on the Wii, but it just doesn't compare. There's nothing up here. Scanning environment. New log entry. Oh, right. This area spans a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. The tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing, venturing into these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin, synthesized through technologically advanced methods as they absorb nutrients from dead matter. X. Okay, so this is something that AM2R did flawlessly, was integrate some of the ideas of the scanning and logbooks from uh, the Prime series and stick them into a 2D version of the game by adding lore entries where if you don't want to, you can just continue playing the game. But if you do want more information, you can check out the mission log. Primary objective, exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet SR388. Secondary objectives, locate and bring assistance to a Galactic Federation research and rescue team. Because they don't tell you that otherwise. It's just a surprise. Planetary designation, planetary designation SR388, a remote planet absent on most galactic charts. Federation research indicates it is a natural homeworld of the Metroid species. Its outer crust is hollowed out with massive cave systems which are home to an ecosystem that is yet to be fully studied. The first expedition to SR388 revealed the existence of Kozo ruins, or Chozo. The massive cave system is located between two tectonic plates, largely flooded by an extremely dense and caustic substance similar to magma. The recent earthquake has altered the cave layout and hazardous substance has drained to lower levels. The cause of the earthquake is unknown. Initial orbital scan of SR388 detected no instability within the region. For years, the Federation declared SR388 unsafe to initiate new expeditions. However, after recent orbital scans failed to detect any Metroid presence on the planet's surface, the dispatch of a research vessel was finally approved. The crew's mission was to inspect the region where the species was first encountered and reaffirm that none remained. Their next objectives were to explore the nearby Chozo ruins and study SR-388's other wildlife. Communication with the team was cut off and only a distress signal was managed to reach HQ. The search and rescue team is an elite combat group consisting of heavily armed soldiers. Their mission, locate and extract any surviving personnel from the missing research team. The group reported finding a specialized energy sensor at a campsite of the missing team. Its data confirmed the Federation's suspicions. Metroid still thrived within the planet. These findings were sent to HQ to be analyzed while the group continued their search for survivors. Contact was soon lost with them as well. The data sent to HQ revealed an approximate number of Metroids remaining on SR388 and was ultimately used to develop a scan module for your power suit. This allows the detection of nearby energy readings unique to the species. Metroid species. There's so much data here. The dominant species of SR388, Metroids hunt for any form of energy found in natural or synthetic organisms, leaving behind deceased husks after feeding. They're highly resistant to conventional weapons and possess great adaptability in foreign environments. Estimates suggest a small number of Metroids set loose on a populated planet would lead to the extinction of any present life forms. As such, they've drawn much attention from space pirates who've repeatedly tried to use them as biological weapons. Scans of the native Metroids reveal their most common form in prior instances is merely the species' larval stage. In-game codices are so great. <laughs> The um the real end game for Metroid Prime is like, yeah, play through the game and all, but 
also get 100% scans. Get every single scan in the game. Whereas, like, the other uh, 2D side-scroller versions of the game are about try and get through as much as you can as quickly as you can, with the emphasis being on as quickly as you can. Uh, the later ones are scan as much as you can in the uh, the first-person perspective ones. And I love that, like, there's so much information about, like, every little creature, every little bug, every little sensor. You can scan and break into the Space Pirates data centers and read information about them trying to reverse engineer Samus's technologies. It's so good. Let's see here. While there are records of extreme mutations triggered by space pirates using abnormal stimuli, the Metroid homeworld of SR388 is seemingly the only environment where the species can naturally transform. Uh... The Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of several nuclei within the green membrane has left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. A plated exoskeleton partially covers it. This organism emerges from the molting of the larval form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full strength and length. The Chozo were an ancient and mysterious avian race. Incredibly advanced, they colonized many worlds, spreading their message of peace throughout the universe. Their historical records and legends of the Chozo visiting other races with whom they shared their knowledge and wisdom. These brief encounters led many primitive, prim primitive cultures to their present day glory. Some say that they helped consolidate the very foundations of the Galactic Federation. The fate of the race is unknown. Evidence suggests they slowly vanished in the cosmos over the course of centuries. All that remains on each planet they inhabited are the ruins of their once glorious civilization. The, the temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues, carved stones, and its solid design attest that the structure was built to be a sanctuary, possibly with religious significance. The temple has withstood the test of time, showing the building knowledge and experience of the Chozo. Scans that detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating autonomously. Not much is known about SR-388's ecosystem. Prior reports describe the fauna as being very hostile. Nearly all observed animals have been carnivores, with even the small species showing, da showing dangerous traits. The harsh environment and the presence of so many predators have forced an evolutionary arms race, perpetuated a cycle of violence. Extreme caution is advised. Okay. And that's the menu. Okay. Well, time to head further down. Oh no. Hey there, bud. Oh. Hello. Uh, I don't normally have this much issue fighting these, but I am struggling tonight. Delicious little jellyfish. Give me your give me your fruits. Give me your snacks. Wait. Haha. -ha. I vacuum. <laughs> I also tend to forget that I can just use this to absorb the various power-ups. So we got two more left for this sector. Whoop! What are you? What what are you? Uh The Alpha Metroid should not be giving me that much of an issue. I am... Whoa! I'm struggling. Ah. 
Hello. <laughs> Get out of here, jeez. Okay, next earthquake. The sentry deploys spike barriers and corners targets into his firing range. Its archaic design constrains it to operate at low power, preventing him simultaneous use of shield and mobility systems. Its arsenal consists of energy weapons with unique patterns. The robot was calibrated to detect foreign creatures bearing stolen equipment. Recent earthquakes seem to have damaged the traction of the unit and spike barriers. Despite these complications, it remains a considerable threat. Ow. Not the best of this. Ah, come on. All right, we're going to leave and come back. do not get to operate that yet. Okay. I'm still supposed to go back over that way. Hmm. Ow. I wonder if, like, the new explosions and stuff and artwork on these are a later addition. Because I remember the assets being um, pretty much a one-to-one -one rip. <laughs> They're a little different now.
takes so long, but it's absolutely necessary unless I want to come back and try and do all this with the, with the uh, space jump later. <gasps> no, I hate this. I hate mountain climbing in this. It's not fun. It is not fun, and this is absolutely a, a product of um, the original Metroid 2 being this way. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> we're in this for the uh, uncomfortable run. Wow, these things again. So I'll put this over here. Aha! Okay, I'm gonna take this back to here. Wait a sec. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hmm. I think I have to go left. Even though the uh, in game tutorial silliness is telling me otherwise. They're more like a set of guidelines. Wait a sec. You're still empowered. And you're still unopenable. Yeah, I do have to go left. Okay. Oh, it's not... That's not a route out of here. Dang it. Continue this way. Wait, is this also? I okay. All right. So all this had lava at the bottom of four, but it doesn't now. Power armor's definitely putting the work in. 
on energy recovery. Dang. And we go into what was once lava and no longer is. So no joke, that, that really is what the puzzle is here. Let's see if I can just vertically ascend. Sometimes you can just bypass it. I'm not going after that for a single missile pack. Not worth my time. Now when I can barely handle this right now. Like I just <laughs> ran through a full Metroid game. My wrists are a little little sore. Seven new Metroids located. Oh god, that actually got me. <laughs> like, at its heart, Metroid is inspired by the Alien series and is meant to be kind of a horror game. Hey there, um... <laughs> hey there, Amicus. Uh... Ooh, Hydra Station. I am having some brain scrambles regarding physical layer versus not, uh, virtual, uh, words. Hi. What's up, cutie? Hope you're having a good night. <laughs> the massive facility at the center of this reservoir filters and pumps water through enormous pipelines. The pipes come out of the complex and disappear into the surrounding rocks, presumably to other buildings further down the cave system with clean water. Though abandoned, most of it remains functional. Robotic activity is detected inside. Whoa, what are you?
What am I doing? I could just be doing this. Huh. All right. The plumbing seems to still work. It immediately starts bombing the plumbing, which then regenerates itself. Shows a technology. Ever a wonder. You seem to have something strange going on. Scanning bioform. Hey, it's you. Haven't seen you in a while. Don't auto repair. So 20th century. <laughs> oh wow, this guy is hitting hard. Ow, ow, ow. I don't have a whole lot of energy here. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. Let's try that again. <laughs> really said catch these claws. This is a very Ninja Turtles boss. I got stuck in the middle of a different phase on this guy. Oh, spring ball! There we go. I can jump as a ball now. Sounds <laughs> like a word. <laughs> it's probably the noise they used, honestly. Oh, it's so much faster than having to rely on bombs.
Of course, of course I missed. Of course! Why wouldn't I? Into this hole then. Crawl back inside the waterworks. Oh hey, it's you. Hi, hello. Ugh. What? Oh, wrong button. Hi. Yeah? Are you the dodgiest little jellyfish? Gothic bun shake. <laughs> Whoa! You're weird. Don't like you. Go away. Ow. Ow. Okay. Uh oh. I got watered. What a weird. These things have a lot of health. Ugh. Not only do they have a lot of health, they do a lot of damage. For how little they're just bashing into me. Nine energy. Woo! I got the hops. Not that it helps against this bastard. A greater tactician than Old Bird. Okay. Is there... Welcome to Ultimate Ninja Warrior.
So hello Plagacy, good to see you, welcome in. Yep, we're doing some AM2R. Uh, we just beat Metroid Zero Mission and just kind of going through the chronological steps, but the way that I want to, because I don't have a copy of the Team Ninja second one. <laughs> oh, we're just right there. Wave beam! First beam! Didn't I get the ice beam before the wave beam in every other version so far? Well. Now we have wall piercing, wibbly wobbly, wavy beam.
Pressurized puppy. <laughs> ah, enemies finally starting to die in a reasonable amount of hit. <coughs> oh yeah, we got that high jump. Can do stuff we couldn't do before. You do realize that Wave Dash comes from Metroid, right? <laughs> Wave Dash is the old name for Shine Spark. Before it got called that. I mean, now you've got me wondering. You legitimately have me wondering where did Wave Dash come from? Uh, let's find out. I'm curious now. Way, because like Wave Dash is also a local uh, trans band. Yeah, here we go. Official Wave Dash website, world famous tour. I actually got to see Wave Dash live in concert when I got to see My Chemical Romance. It was freaking awesome. Wait, no, hold on a second. I got to see Wave Dash live in concert, and they were My Chemical Romance. <laughs> Where does the term Wave Dash come from? Stem from Tekken. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay. See, and I thought it was a misnomer for Shine Spark. More you know. No. By the time I get up there, I'm going to forget the button that I have assigned for using the magnetic ball grip fighter ball. Ah. Okay. Ah. Hate those rooms. The hell is this? Are you kidding me? I could have I could have just gone into this room. Oh no. Wait, I don't I don't yet contain the tech. Hmm. Come on up, buddy.
Worth it. I will stand right down here in the green stuff and continue shooting to his top green underbelly. Okay, it leaves two left for this sector. Ah, you got little grabby paws. I love all these evolutions. They're my favorite. Territorial organism. Its armored hide is very resilient and requires at least a high voltage discharge to harm it. Attacking with anything less will only agitate the creature. When enraged, it will roll into a ball and attempt to ram its aggressor. Let's see here. Its saliva has flammable properties and its claws can vibrate at high frequencies to launch sonic waves. Gans detected it acquired a Chozo relic, granting it unnatural vigor. Apparently, I didn't read that during the fight. Ah, hello. Oh no! You got big! And scary! Metroids at this stage can now transfer negative charges from their nervous system into their horns, releasing electric arcs capable of disrupting weapon fire. The membrane containing its nucleus remains vulnerable, but the Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton has expanded for additional protection. Although their legs have reached their maximum length, they're unsuitable for locomotion. Instead, they can serve to capture prey and drain their energy. Oh no. Gimme. Thank you. Glad I had that extra energy tank. That fight would have been terrible without it. Let's see. What are those things?
got cold in here. I'm so cold. Didn't it? Yeah, I already fought this one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That was a hell of a fall. All right. Oh. That safe point got broken. the rest of that. Uh, obviously missing a spot over there. Might just need to go east of here. Let's see if we can find it.
Okay. That was not at all what I thought was going to be over here. I was expecting a Metroid. Hmm. Okay, not getting that one either. My arms are starting to get tired. Am I coming close to calling it for the night? But I'd say this was very successful. We ran through the entirety of Metroid Zero Mission in a single playthrough in just under two hours of actual gameplay time. Actually, no, just over. Sorry, it was like two hours and seven minutes. And, uh, yeah, made a decent way into AM2R. Picked up a bunch of fun power-ups and got a lot more going. I fully expect to continue playing these very soon because, oh, I love... I absolutely love the Metroid series. I love platforming in general as it is. Yeah, what's, what's going on over here? Oh, I can't use that, because I don't have the weapon for it yet. That's not a thing yet. And going out that way renders nothing for me either. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I have no idea. Okay, well, we'll hit a save point and call it good for the night. Y'all be speedrunning. <laughs> I told you folks, I'm actually halfway decent at this series. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go ahead and see who we want to raid for the evening. And we'll swap over our scenes here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, mouse. There we go. Thank you for the stretch for Dean. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. Exit does not mean go to menu. Exit means exit, please. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you. This was an absolute blast. It was fun getting to show you folks off. <laughs> show off to you folks this series that has influenced so much of my storytelling and sci-fi and general expectations when it comes to platforming and gaming um i love metroid it's so good looks like right now we got strawberry moo <laughs> we got yorga playing pikmin and Koi playing the Night Witch. Let's send everybody over to say hi to Koi.
Oh. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight in the chat. And everybody who hung out. And uh, I keep saying this backwards. I've been meeting. We are 80 episodes deep, and I keep saying this backwards. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight, for all those that were able to participate in the chat and all those that were hanging out in the background. I still managed to reverse that. I, I can't. I can't not. I don't know what's up with that. I just keep doing that. Uh, as well as all those that are hanging out in the VOD. Oh, no. I broke it again. <laughs> All right, well, I super appreciate all your support, and I hope to see you all again. We'll probably be streaming again tomorrow night about 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If anything changes, I will let you know, and I have absolutely no clue what we're going to be streaming just yet, but we'll figure it out. It sounds like it's going to be anything, anything sci-fi, anything rogue, like anything RPG. Maybe we'll do some VR. I don't know. We'll have fun. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you for setting up stream elements. Thank you, stream elements, for not breaking. Let's go ahead and get everybody raided over. Say hi to Koi, and we'll do a green glow dog raid. Yeah, Dan's got it already. Thank you so much. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, there's still three people watching me, and I'm not sure how that happened, but let's, uh, let's get everybody actually sent over. <laughs> <laughs> 